Good afternoon, everyone. Happy New Release Day. We're doing our first break of 2018 Panini Diamond Kings Baseball. 12 box, 12 box inner. Pick your team, number one, from jazbeeshobbyland.com. So, this case comes in a massive uh, 24, a monster 24 box, uh, 24 box master case. So, first of all, here are the people involved in Pick Your Team, number one. Good luck, everyone. Thanks for hanging out with me on a Wednesday. Who's here for this break? What teams do you have? Let me know. Sam with that last spot mojo, Blue Jays. Thanks, Sam. All right, so let's uh, let's pop open this master case here. We'll see which case will do. Right, so we'll set that here. So one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. Good luck boxes. And it's one, so we'll do the left side. So this side right here will reserve for pick your team number two, which is which is already on the site. Here we go with this one. There it is, folks. All right, so Devastator saying his GF has the Rockies. Should I, should I put her name in there, Drew? Silver's got the Giants. Sam Strayer, of course, with the Last Mod Mojo Blue Jays. The other Sam, Sam Golden with the Padres. All right, I hope I have everything here, right? So I have three rows of four, which make 12. All right. Chris Miller, Tigers and Astros for you. And your son has the twins. All right. I got the, got the Millers in the house. Chris Miller, Jerry Miller. All right. See who we have on the front right here. We have the Mick. On the front, we got 12 packs per box, eight cards per pack. Yes, I know, look for Shohei Otani autographs. They've already got the promo on there. We know, we know. Two new base cards, sepia, black and white, a lot of variations. We'll go, I usually like to go through the first box a little bit on the slower side, um, so everyone kind of gets a good feel for the cards. And then we'll start moving through it a lot more quickly, just in the interest of time. This is already going to take. It's already going to take a little time. All right. Good luck, everybody. Let's get the first one. I need the the lip of the pack right over here. I always like, I mean, if you're, if you're familiar with Gridiron Kings and Court Kings, you're going to be familiar with the design already. So a lot of cool stuff. There's Nolan Ryan portraits. It's not numbered, but set that aside. That'll definitely ship. So a cool look. And if you look carefully, there you, you can see that the card is kind of a matte finish, right? A canvasy sort of look. There you have it. All right, so that was pack one. So now let's start stacking these up. So it looks like a looks like a lighter a lighter color scheme this year too, which is cool. So 
So good luck, everybody. Baseball season underway, which is great. Just about a, just a week or so of baseball in, so time to, time to panic. Time to panic. All right. Oh, and how many hits are we looking for here? Two autographs or memorabilia cards per box on average. So we're looking for two hits per box. Uh, yes, Rory, this is box number one. Oh, nice. Jaden in the previous break um, says that he looked up the MLB.com slash authentication and... Oh, nice. Kyle Seager hit a two-run home run. There you go. See, now you got an extra story with that card. You're welcome, man. All right, so let's breeze through these guys. And then we've got Mark McGuire. DK Materials. That'll be for the A's. Scott V with the A's. I always, I always like this. There's, it's a good. Uh, there's a Shohei Otani, Japanese Babe Ruth. I'm sure, all of these will be, will have some pretty great value. Um, this in another sleeve. What's great about this is that it's a pretty, pretty, uh, pretty wallet friendly. It's a wallet friendly break. A lot of different cards to chase. A lot of different inserts, like that, for the Angels. Michael Tran with the Angels. There's portraits Otani. They really loaded this up with Otani, huh? I like all the different inserts. There's sepia Otani. <coughs> Excuse me. That's who he's being compared to, which is crazy to think about. Allergic to all these Otani's popping out of here? I hope not. I'll be like this all season long. There's Joe DiMaggio, Red Frame. We got Alex Verdugo. And our autograph. First autograph is rookie signatures, Victor Caratini. For the Cubbies, Alex Harbichael with that one. Don Larson, that's a perfect game right there, Don Larson. More Otani. Aurora, Carlos Correa. These are somewhat shorter printed, so let's set those aside. There's Nicky Delmonico for the White Sox. Dom DiMaggio, right? That's right, Dom DiMaggio. I was like, that's Di different DiMaggio. And there you have it, box one in the books. Two. Good luck, everybody. We've got more of these picker teams in the store, folks. JaspiesHobbyland.com. So check it out. Brand new release. Just came out today. It's at a, it's a really friendly price point. Kind of a longer break, but a lot of fun stuff to chase. And just aesthetically, the cards just look good, too. So get into the action on JaspiesHobbyland.com. The breaks that we have currently on the site... 
Um, that's all the Diamond Kings we have. That's all the Diamond Kings we got. So check it out and get into it while supplies last. JaspiesHobbyLand.com. Box two and pick your team one. All right. Good luck, everybody. Mike Trout, George Brett. And Manny Ramirez, Bat Kings. Nice. That is three out of 99 on that Manny Ramirez. One of the best right-handed hitters, like ever, you think? Red Sox, that goes to EA, at least in the last like 20 years or so. TJ, what's going on? Got us right here in box two. Of Diamond Kings. There's Ty Cobb, Frame, Madison Bumgarner, Ozzy Smith, there's Otani, Portraits, George Brett, and Tayago Vieira. Nice. Two color, dual relic. 165 out of 299 for the White Sox. That'll be for Adam Wilson and the White Sox. Another Otani red frame, different kind of frame there. Greg Maddox. I gotta say, Greg Max probably one of my favorite pitchers in baseball history. Dude was good. There's artist proof to ninety nine. We got a Kluber red frame. Mookie Betts on the back there. I think for the first like week of the season, Mookie Betts, I'm pretty sure, only had like one. Swinging strike or something like that. Some crazy stat like that. Basically, he was just making contact with everything. I think you're starting to see a shift, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, starting to see a shift towards hitters not wanting to strike out that much anymore. They're just like, no, we're not going to do that anymore. Not all about launch angles and whatnot. Still is kind of, but I think the idea was, hey, you know, let's focus on launch angles. We'll hit a boatload of home runs and we'll get paid in free agency. But it didn't work out for a lot of people in last year, last off season. I think players are maybe being able to rethink that approach. Putting, putting the ball in play more often. Always always a good thing. Never know what can happen. Weird error can happen. You know, you're advancing base runners. You never know. Force the other guy to make a play. Next box, good luck. It's Ty Cobb. I'm not sure why those cards are flipped around. I'm assuming there's some sort of some sort of shorter print, so we'll set those aside. There's Andrew McCutcheon, red frame. Those will obviously ship. Willie Calhoun. And Luis Severino. Nice. Original materials, Luis Severino. 26 out of 99. What does that mean? 
his original materials. There it is. Solid starter for the Yankees. Austin Hayes, red frame, Orlando Cepeda. And this time a black and white of Otani. A lot of Otani inserts in here. There's Jackie Robinson, Jackie Robinson Day. This uh, is this Sunday, I believe. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Lou Gehrig. There's Otani. Gallery of Stars, Shohei Otani. Pitching, Shohei Otani. And we've got Dominic Smith, rookie signatures for the Mets. Does he have a little smiley? Is that a little smiley face right there? The two dots of the eyes in Dominic kind of gives it a, a sort of a, a smiley face kind of look. All right, that'll go to uh, the Metropolitans, Jeremy 33. All right. Next box. DJ Remix says, my Mets are being no hit through the top of the fifth. Yeah, let's, let's, let's look at some scores from today. Final scores. Diamondbacks are hot. Se uh, they beat the Giants 7-3. 7-3. Oh, Rockies defeating the Padres 6-4. Mariners over the Royals, 4-2. to two. White Sox edging out the Tampa Bay Rays, 2-1. to one. Brewers edging out the Cardinals this time, 3-2, to two after, after a brutal loss yesterday in extras. The Twins edging out the Astros, 9-8. to eight. Is that two wins in a row over the, over the Astros? And the Braves beating the Nationals, 5-3 to three in extras. Was there a fight? I didn't even see the fight. Oh, was the Twins a walk-off? Nice. I'll have to look at that video. The Angels and Rangers just started. Pirates and Cubs just started. The yeah, the Marlins with a narrow lead, one nothing over the Mets in the bottom of the fifth. DJ Remix said they, saying there being no hit. By who? Who's pitching? Looks like it's uh, Harlan Garcia. It's pretty good. All right, next box. Ozzy Albius. Nice Ty Cobb portraits. More Otani. Yankees and Red Sox as well. There's John McGraw, red frame. There's Otani again. This one has Japanese Babe Ruth on it. That one's just regular Shohei Otani, Michael, with the Angels. And we've got Andrew Benintendi. Two-color dual relic for the Red Sox. That'll be for EA Sports in the game. Yankees lead the Red Sox right now, 5-1. to one. Speaking of the Yankees, there's Jordan Montgomery. 
Dual Relic and Auto, 164 out of 166. That's for Travis. There you go, Travis. There's the Babe Ruth. There's my boy Kyle Farmer. Corey Seager as well. George Kelly. Buster Posey, Sepia. And Dom DiMaggio. What are some other games in progress? Orioles leading the uh, Blue Jays 3-1. to one. Reds and Phillies are tied at 2. And the Indians leading the Tigers 4-1. to one. All right, next box. Is Ken Griffey in this? I don't know. I'm assuming so. I don't know if there usually is. Take a look. Griffey Jr. has some retro DK material signature and parallels as a Mariner, and then inserts and then relics. And I think he has inserts as a red and relics as a red. There you go. I did not see that, TJ. So would Kyle Farmer is hanging out with Todd Gurley at the, at, what, at the Lakers game? Or the Dodgers game. The caption said, former dogs. Isn't Alex Wood a Georgia Bulldog as well? He, I think he's he's on the, on the hill tonight. He's the hurler tonight. Or oh, the Dodgers game. It's pretty cool. Nice. Or maybe Alex Wood's just from Georgia. Maybe. I don't know if he was a Bulldog or not. Next box, good luck. Freddie Freeman. Lana's had a great start to their season. Tony Gwynn, RIP. Joe DiMaggio. Grover Alexander. Everyone, everyone remembers Grover Alexander, right? <laughs> Who remembers Grover Alexander? Watching him play. There's Leo DeRocher. 22 out of 25. Nice old school Dodger. From the Brookline days. That is game used material. It's pretty cool. Brooklyn Dodgers. Bruce with the Dodgers. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. All right. Next up we've got, what is this? Ah, the autograph for the O's. Anthony uh, Santander. Santander? Yeah, DJ Remix was a Grover groupie, he said. It was all about, all about Grover. That goes to the O's, Karen, with the Orioles. There's Miguel Andahar. They called him up. And he uh, struggled in his first game, but I think he's continued to get a little action here and there. Otani Aurora. Is Andujar playing today? Maybe. Let's check the Yankees box score. We have time in this break. Andujar is playing. He's 0 for 2. 0 for 2 with 2 left on base. All right. Justin Verlander. 
Andrew Stevenson, Mortani. All right. And we are kind of moving through this break nicely. So Tanaka with a nice start, huh? Well, the Yankees staked him to a four-run first inning, so that helps too. Looks like Price is Price injured? Just out after an inning, after giving up four earned runs. He must be injured, otherwise, unless they're just looking to blow out the bullpen, I guess. Someone give me a someone. Uh, I need a Boston correspondent or anyone who's watching the game who knows what happened. All right, next box. Good luck. And the Mets. Craig still getting no hit. The top of the sixth, Harlan Garcia twirling a no hitter in Miami against the Mets. I, th I think I, th I think a lot of people underestimated the Marlins. Perhaps I did too. I think we were discussing this a while ago. Vegas had the over under at sixty four, something like that, sixty five, sixty four and a half, and people were telling me, Joe. It's kind of hard to lose 100 games. I mean, it's hard to win win 100 games. It's hard to lose 100 games. So, if you know a lot of young players probably have a chip on their shoulder and they're like, yeah, I'm not a... Uh, we're not going down without a fight. Hey, good for them. There's Brian Anderson. Speaking of the Marlins, George Brett. And then we've got a gray frame, our first gray frame, 26 out of 99, a Buster Posey. Buster Posey, Oppo Joe Mojo for silver. There's a the Buster Posey. Coop, what's going on? Flawless get, get where? Uh, when I started this break, about 30 minutes ago, Flawless was not full. Flawless football is not full. There's Aaron Judge. But I do see a lot of orders coming in. That, those could all be Flawless orders. I've got about 30 more minutes in this break. Oh, they just took out Price just because he gave up those four runs. Okay. I don't know. Sometimes managers will just be like, I don't feel like blowing out my bullpen. So we'll just let, let Price figure it out. But I guess they took him out. Cody Ballinger. My boy Cody Ballinger for the Dodgers, Bruce. Nice Ballinger. Hopefully no sophomore slump for him. So Juan Lagares lines out. Zach Wheeler called out on strikes. As Drupal Cabrera up there. Um, yeah, flawless, flawless is here though. It is here. We have it in store. Also, I lied to you guys before. There's a Tiago Vieira that's to 15, I think. Is that to 15? 10 out of 15 for the White Sox. Uh, I only said there was, uh, we only had two cases. We have more. We have like five. Yes, Brandon, you must have missed it. I answered your question, yes. Ken Griffey does have autographs as a Mariner. Short printed autographs. There were probably not, not, not too many in there. I think only like out of out of like 10 or 10 or 14 or something like that. Ed, what's going on? Ed Garris in the house. Paul DeYoung. Maybe Brandon doesn't have sound. Someone say yes to him. Mariners. Say yes, period, Mariners. All right, next box. Man, Harlan Garcia, after three straight balls to his dribble Cabrera, throws a strike. Cabrera fouls off a couple hits. 
three and two the count. Harlan Garcia working on a no hitter. In play, but an out. Wow, so he's through six with a no-no. What's the earliest no, has there been an opening day no-hitter? What's the earliest no-hitter that's been thrown? Someone look that up if you're interested in that trivia. I am. Earliest no-hitter thrown. Um, me too, Ed, me too. Actually, it's in LA, right? I'm, I'm, what am I doing on Sunday? Maybe I should pop over to the, pop over to the game. I think I'm doing anything on Sunday or Monday. Yeah, Dodgers kind of a slow start for the Dodgers. Not a not a fun road trip for the Dodgers, but got, got back to their winning ways yesterday. So let's see what's going on with the. Uh, let's see how they do against the hot hot hitting Diamondbacks. More like pitching, hot pitching Diamondbacks. They started off the season really well. Turkey, what's going on? And Wade Boggs autograph, nice. 30 out of 40, I was like, is that gonna be an auto? 30 out of 49, Boggsy. Red Sox edition for EA. Nice. Jackie Robinson. It'll be Jackie Robinson Day this Sunday. There's Goose, Red Frame. Reese Hoskins. Tyler Wade, dual relic for the Yankees. That'll be for Travis Craig. The, um, uh, no worries, Brandon. The, uh, in this game where Harlan Garcia is throwing a no hitter against the Mets, it's not like Zach Wheeler is having a bad game. He's only given up one run and two hits. That's it. Daniel, number 16, what? 74 and 99, Nicky Delmonico. Oh, are the only break 16 we've had, Daniel was was a spot random. That's already done. All right, there's Nicky, Nicky Delmonico for the White Sox. There's Nolan Ryan. Jackie Robinson portraits. Honus Wagner, Red Frame, and Roger Maris. The Ryan Express, inspiration for the Big Hit Express. Let's get these a little bit closer to me here. Almost there, ladies and gentlemen. This, this break has been breezing by pretty nicely, actually. Today's Wednesday already? 
time is flying by. Do I have, did I put pennies on any of these games today? I took the I took the Braves. They won. I shouldn't have, shouldn't have taken the Tigers. How are they doing? No, the Tigers are down by four. That was a mistake. Um, I took the Phillies. So I think Phillies Phillies are now leading by one, three two in the top of the sixth. All right, that was good. I took the Yankees. The Yankees are leading. I took the Cubs. Still early in the game. I don't know, why did I, should I have taken the Cubs? I don't like. I don't know why I took John Lester. Um, and I took I took the Dodgers tonight. Might be a mistake. I should not take your teams when you're putting pennies. Can't think objectively. Victor Robles, black and white. Lindor Aurora. Justin Turner, get well soon. Clayton Kershaw, red frame. Greg Maddox, portraits. Otani. A lot of Otanis in this, like insert wise. Uh, what's up, TJ? Oh, you're tidying up. Oh, nice. Yeah, you guys are wearing the Jackie Robinson jerseys. That's pretty cool. There's Luis Severino. Uh, Daniel, I'm confused at what you're trying to say. So, are you talking about the spot random? The spot random we finished. The one box break related to the spot random we finished. And the tribute pick your team is not sold out yet, so we obviously can't break it yet. But we did give away the angels in that spot randomizer, so that part is complete. Part one is complete. Next part, not complete yet. I think that's what you're asking. Hopefully that clears it up. Brooks Robinson, boss man's favorite player, he said. I said I always thought it was one of his favorite players. Confirmed the other day that Brooks Robinson is his favorite player. There's Tyler Wade. Tyler Wade is someone's favorite player, I'm sure, too. Rookie auto out of 15. Nice low number. Three out of 15. Is that Tyler Wade? Is that Mets edition of Tyler Wade? Yankees edition of Tyler Wade. Just put it there just to eliminate confusion on that. A little post-it note. All right, and there you go. Almost there, folks. Just four boxes to go. Ah, DJ Remix, Craig with the with, with uh, coming through with the clutch. Right here, to answer your question, since 1970, the earliest no-hitter in the majors, wow, was April 4th, 2001, by Hideo Noma of the Red Sox. Oh, that's right, he was a Red Sox for a little bit, huh? Against the Orioles. I wonder, what, what game, was that the first game of the season? Must have only been like the, must have been the first series of the season. I wouldn't be surprised if this card goes for a decent amount of money. This will be a randomizer at the end between the Angels and the Yankees. All right, we'll set that aside right here to remind me. It's Jason Veritek was the catcher. Nice. All right, good luck. Good luck, everybody. Really? The Marlins called in a reliever? Huh. That's interesting. I guess they didn't want Harlan Garcia going through, going through the order a third time. It's the top of the seventh. 
Marlins, now the Marlins entire staff working on a no hitter. So the starter, Harlan Garcia, took a no hitter through six. And now we've got Drew uh, Steckenrider coming in on relief. He got Wilmer Flores to line out to the shortstop, and now he's he's got a he's evened up the count two two. It's Juan Cespedes. All right, Dylan Peters for the Marlins. Reese Hoskins. Otani Gallery of Stars. And Clint Frazier, 88 out of 99, original materials. Nice dual relic for the Yankees. Maybe for Travis Craig with the Bronx Bombers. Nice. Odubel Herrera. There's Justin Turner. Tony Gwynn Portraits. Trout and Mickey Mantle, the big. Big Boppy, Otani. More Otani with the Japanese Babe Ruth nickname on the bottom. Wow, and the OS Cespedes pops out to the second baseman. Now Todd Frazier has it with a chance to break up the no no. Nice Otani, sepia, artist proof to 99. Kirby. And Brandon Woodruff, two-color dual relic, 49 out of 49 for Rory, who got his Brewers on a lark. There you go, Rory. I don't know what his deal is, but maybe he'll turn out to be somebody, a player, as they say. Could be a player. Paul Wainer, and Mookie Betts at the end. All right, just three boxes to go. Folks, we have more in the store. JaspiesHobbyland.com. We've got um, a few more Pick Your Teams, and that's it. So if you're interested in getting into this, uh, getting into this break, Get into it while supplies last. Ah, oh, good. I like your style, DJ. He's like, of course he had to check. And now you're think, probably thinking, and also what's the latest regular season no-hitter since 1970? Roy Halladay versus the Reds, October 6th, 2010. They were playing ball games into early October? Like all the way to the 6th? That seems a little late. But there you have it. Oh, Steckenrider gave up a single to Todd Frazier. Line drive to center field, breaking up the no-no. Now the Mets have a man on first, two outs. No, no, broken up in the top of the seventh with two outs. Todd Frazier probably was just like, I'll just choke up on the bat a little bit. Just make hard contact. There you go. No, no, no hitter yet. I feel like the early season no hitters. There's Jordan Montgomery, dual relic and auto, 23 out of 99. Jordan, Jordan's number for Jordan Montgomery. Take a look at that, Travis, with the Yankees.
I don't know what that I don't know if that means anything, but it's just a nice coincidence. But I was I was saying I don't think that you're gonna see a lot of early season no hitters in this day and age because I don't know if a lot of managers want to stretch out their their pitchers to pitch like 120 pitches to get that no hitter this early in the season. There's Chris Sale, dual relic original materials. And second rider gave up a hit and then strikes out Jay Bruce to end the inning. A lot of Otani stuff in here. Tyler Wade, Jackie Robinson. TJ, you should show me a picture of the uh, of you guys in the Jackie Robinson gear. I'd like to take a look at that. That'd be pretty cool to see. There's Chuck Klein. All right, two boxes to go. We are almost there. Sticking with the no hitter theme, DJ Remix saying top three teams that have thrown no nos. Number three, White Sox with 18. Number two, the Red Sox with 18. And the Dodgers have thrown the most no-hitters with 25. That's a lot of no-hitters. I know the Dodgers have a big pitching tradition, but it seems like a lot. Seems like the Red Sox would be, I feel like that is a tough ballpark to throw a no-hitter in. You know, back in the day, the Dodgers, the Dodgers team had, uh, when they moved to L.A., the Dodgers team had, had huge foul areas. You know what I mean? So, you know, that obviously helps. You know what I mean? If a guy pops it up in, in, in foul territory and records it out, that's awesome. That helps the, that helps the no-hitter, you know? But Red Sox, I feel, like, I feel like there's not a lot of foul ground to work with. So that's gotta that's gotta be pretty tough. I wonder how many of those were at home. Cause I'd be willing to wager that most of the Dodgers no hitters were at, were at home. Although I do remember a no hitter where Hideo Nomo threw a uh, threw a no hitter in the in the '90s. I think threw a no hitter late '90s. I forget. Threw a no hitter at uh, at Coors Field. Pretty impressive. All right, second to last box. We've got more in the store, folks. Jaspyshobbyland.com. And the breaks that you see on the site, that's all we have. So if you're into Diamond Kings, Get into it while supplies last. Second to last box. Almost there. Otani. Black and white. And Lucas Sims. Two color dual relic for the Braves. Ed Gareth's. Movie man. <laughs> Jeff says, you can have all the no-hitters. Your Yankees will take the rings. Dodgers have a decent number of rings too, I think. Charlie Blackman. There's Roberto Clemente, artist proof to 25. Ted Williams.
Roberto Clemente. Uh, Cruz is saying flawless is down to six. Nice. Uh, that Roberto Clemente goes to the Pirates, of course. That'll go to Michael Gallucci. Michael Tran racking up those uh, those Otani inserts. Rafael Devers, dual relic and autograph for EA and the Red Sox. 181 out of 299. So a good chance we'll do that flawless after this. It's back in the store. It's kind of weird as a as a uh, case breaker when you're breaking this stuff. And a lot of times, this is just a window into how I do. I don't look at the names; I just look at the pictures. And so, but then, Otani is both a pitcher and a hitter, so that kind of makes things a little, little difficult sometimes. More no hitter trivia. I like this. No more no hitter trivia. There have been two no hitters thrown that have involved six pitchers. June 8, 2012, Mariners had six pitchers to combine for a no-no. And in June 11, 2003, the Astros had six to combine. That's actually a lot of pitchers. I think the average number of pitchers in a game really doesn't go beyond three or four. Oh, that's a randomizer. So to have six and for them to combine for the no-hitter, I feel like that's harder than, you th than if one would think it is. All right, last box. Last box. Good luck, everybody. Jaspyshobbyland.com. This break will, yeah, it's about an hour. That's what I thought it was going to be. Awesome. I see a lot of orders coming in, too. So once I clear this break away, we'll go through the orders and see what we got. Uh, it looks like that flawless, uh, looks like that flawless football full case pick your team number 11 is already down to single digits. It's already has 16 left. Let's fill that one up like soon. Because the sooner that fills up, the sooner I can post another flawless football. I, I originally thought we only got two cases, but we have more than that. We've, we've got five cases, so you could budget out for five if you need to. So keep that in mind if that helps your budget. Usually we don't really, you know, we don't really talk about how many cases we got or didn't get or whatever, but with flawless, I know it's a little pricier, so it might help help you budget things out. There's Babe Ruth. Bryce Harper. Carlos Correa. There's Joe Morgan portraits. There's Otani. How many Otani inserts have we had, Patrick? I feel like a lot. Ten? Maybe I feel like there's been like a, a couple per box. Maybe more than ten. Twenty maybe? Bryce Harper, who's been balling out this early this season. There's Manny Machado. There's more Otani. And J.P. Crawford. DK materials going to the Phillies. It's for Jeremy Tillman and the Phillies. So the Astros had, had uh, Oswald start, and Billy Wagner finished that one. And the one against the Dodgers, oh, I feel like I remember that now. <laughs> Kevin Millwood starting that no hitter. Sounds vaguely familiar. Kevin Millwood. And we got Miguel Andujar autograph. Nice way to finish it for the Bronx Bombers. 
Travis Craig with the Miguel Andujar. He's got a he kind of has a nice autograph too. That is 26 out of 49. Let's see how Miguel Andujar he's playing today. He's one of the he had a great spring. One of the big uh, Yankees up and coming prospects. Still 0 for two, but he's on deck. We'll see what happens. All right, there you have it, folks. We got one randomizer to do, and that's that past and present card, which I believe may have some solid value because it has both Otani and Babe Ruth on it. So good luck to the Yankees, Travis Craig, and good luck to the Angels, Michael Trent. So let's go to a blank list at random.org. All right. And let's roll the dice and randomize. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do one more randomizer, too. This is for any raise cards that, that were out of there. So someone will get some bonus inserts and whatnot. No vet base, but bonus raise cards. All right. Same dice roll. Full 12 times. Six and a six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelfth and final time. Flips to the Angels. Michael Tran with the past and present. Babe Ruth, Shohei Otani. Full 12 times for the bonus raise stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelfth and final time. After 12 times, aim on top. Rory, there you go. Some bonus raise for you, Rory. There you go, man. All right, that's it. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We've got a little bit more, just a few more. Diamond Kings breaks. Check it out. I've got a lot more, so let's break more. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.